In this video, I visited Warriors Nation MMA in New York City, and I spar with Nick. I stayed patient and took my time waiting for Nick to attack so I could counter. He moves forward so I counter with my cross and double step low kick to exit off to the side to create space from him. Nick backs up giving me space and I circled out. From the outside, I lunged into range and trapped his hand and into my cross followed by my double step low kick. Nick moves forward to attack with his left kick but I step back to keep my distance and I go for my inside low kick followed by my hook cross double step low kick. As Nick moves forward, I threw my left high kick but he blocks it by closing the distance and shrugging his right shoulder off balance. Me. I moved in to throw my cross, but missed. And as he tried to counter with his jab, I countered his counter with my inside low kick. Foot sweep attempt, but no good. Then here I caught him with my favorite hook and double step low kick combination. Nick throws a jab to a big overhand. I defended with my 360 block, but I felt the added power on my arm when blocking, so of course I throw the exact same thing back and added a hard inside low kick. At the time of the event, I felt his overhand was what triggered me to up the power. But in hindsight, it could be because he is just a bigger and heavier guy. Perhaps I shouldn't have added that much power to my low kick. But at the same time, bigger guys should know that what they throw, say, at 50% is more damaging than what a smaller guy throws at 50%. So it should be fair for the smaller guy to add some power to make it equal. I'm not saying my added power was justified, but just some food for thought. So Nick nods his head and says, Okay, okay, you want to do this? And I'm thinking... Nah man, I don't, but you started it. And he gets me back with a good hard low kick. And then I get him with a good inside low kick. Then he gets me back with another hard low kick and I ate it to catch him with a cross down the middle. And he catches me with a good hard right hook. And another inside low kick lands for me. Jab to the body, followed by a cross upstairs and into my double step low kick. I eat another hard low kick to land my hook here. And instead of disengaging and keeping my distance, my ego got to me and I decide to stand and bang. Nick wins this exchange with some power body shots followed by a right head hook. Another low kick for me. This is why you shouldn't stand and bang with a bigger, stronger, more aggressive opponent. Instead, I should have been keeping my distance and playing on the outside. Another inside low kick for me. Big cross versus his left hook here and I crouched under his right hook. Nick punches, but I kept my distance. Intercepting left body kick as Nick jabbed at me, followed by a calf kick and a nice long jab as I circled to my left. I ate another low kick to land my cross here, and I followed up with another inside low kick to win the exchange. Nick throws another low kick in which I caught to counter, but he spins and lands a spinning back fist. And at this point, I should have backed up, but instead I stood there and banged and got caught with a right hook, left hook, and another right hook, and then a jab. Another example of why you should not stand and bang with a bigger opponent. Back on the outside, I surprised them by closing the distance with a hand trap to cross to double stab low kick. Nick smiles at me, his way of saying he wants more, and I'm like, F me. I go for the jab, hook, rear body hook. Then fake my rear body kick into a Superman cross. And Nick clinches me and pushes me against the wall. We were told to avoid banging the wall because next door complains about it. I catch him with another rear body kick to Superman cross here, clinched up and disengaged. Then back in with an inside low kick and back out I go to keep the distance. Another inside low kick and back out. And here I fake the body jab and landed the lead high kick and back I go. See what I mean? I threw a left high kick and immediately after, Nick fires back with a left high kick. But I caught it and swept them as the bell rang. Time! 